Hi, I'm Jen Bowman and I work here at the Voinovich School. I'm an environmental projects manager and I'm a hydrologist. A hydrogeologist is a, sort of a mix of two disciplines, hydrology and geology. We study the formations of streams and how streams flow and move and how the natural landscape, the geology, form the streams and how the streams form the land. I study streams um, and their flow and you know, specifically geochemistry and how the natural layers in our area interacts with our surface waters. We're hired to look at how the streams are polluted from acid mine drainage, you know, what underground mines are in the area, looking for what the topography, natural layers are, and then going in and starting to collect water quality data. That can last as long as, you know, a year long process. That can be a couple days where we're collecting uh, biological, chemical, physical data. We'll synthesize that information, put it into our data management system, and do our data analysis. We'll, we can start to use that data to understand what it is happening in the landscape and in the surface water. And then we go through a recommendation process of what would be ideal for this watershed or for this stream to be improved. I've uh, had a love for the outdoors and the environment for a long time. I went with a group picking up trash and I'm looking over the creek and I said, the creek is orange. I'd never seen orange creeks before. I thought, well, why is it orange? We were there picking up rusty uh, car parts, rusty refrigerators, there was broken glass. And so I thought, oh, I wonder if it's from all the rust from the, the trash pile which we all know now that that's, it was not. It was from the, the deep mines, from the coal mines. It was acid mine drainage. I learned about acid mine drainage from a trash pickup there, and that sparked my interest to ask more questions. In my process of asking questions and getting involved and doing volunteer work, I came to learn a little bit about what coal mining is and how coal mining has affect the landscape here and what acid mine drainage is and why the streams are orange. So that was really my, my, real, my first spark there was through volunteering and working with Rural Action. Another avenue for getting into this career is um, through geography, working with our um, GIS team or working on making maps, producing maps, um, analyzing data. The GIS software is such a robust way to analyze data and to interpret information and it also can tell such a great story with a map and use it as an analysis tool. It's important for a person in this type of career to be able to reason and think through um, a, a process and to troubleshoot or hypothesize or, you know, those sort of science background classes teach you that type of um, thought process that's so critical. It's always questioning. You always need to be questioning, is that right? Is this wrong? What could be causing this? You know, so having that science background is so critical. The best educational path for this career, starting at the, at the high school level, is getting your solid um, biology, chemistry, physics. Your main three science classes nailed down, but having those, that solid exposure in high school is important because when you come in at the college level, they're difficult. The most exciting thing I, that I love about my job is that it is always different, always changing dynamic. So I, I feel it's very inspirational and I can be creative, I have a lot of freedom. The work that we seek out to do um, is asked of us or, or it's research we want to do. And so I really feel like every day is different and it's just so open to be shaped into the route and the, the, the research that we as a team would like to do or myself like to do. I love being outside, I love connecting you know, to the natural world. and. Um, I wouldn't be happy sitting inside all the time. <laughs> Some similar jobs that uh, someone would be able to do with the type of skills or you know the, the, the classes of the career path I've taken could be working um, as a consultant for an environmental company. You know, working as watershed coordinator, of course. There's lots of watershed um, opportunities to to work uh, with nonprofit organizations or in local agencies as a watershed coordinator. So my best advice to young folks who want to get involved in this career is to volunteer. Find a watershed group or find a um, entity who is willing to let you tag along and see what they do. And it's a good sampling for those folks. Typically in, in this field, in this career, you have to have experience going into getting one of these type of jobs. 
no one's usually hired that just has a degree. Degrees are great, but you have to have experience. And so getting out there and volunteering and working with the watershed group, even if it's on a no-pay basis, you need to, to get your feet wet.